This video is on the production of alcohols. And the aims of this video are to uh, know the conditions for the production of ethanol by fermentation, understand the environmental and economic advantages and disadvantages of fermentation compared to the hydration of ethene, and to define biofuel and carbon neutral. So fermentation is a process by which yeast um, anaerobically resp respires, um, converting glucose, which is C6H12O6, into ethanol, which is C2H5OH, and carbon dioxide. And to balance that equation, you need two carbon dioxides and two ethanols. So the conditions for this process uh, are first, you need yeast as a sort of catalyst. You need kind of an ambient temperature, like well, body temperature is best, but a temperature between, say, um, 30 and 40 degrees. Um, 37 is probably the best because that's um, how our, where our, our enzymes work best at the temperature which our enzymes work best. Um, if it's too low then the yeast, then the enzymes and the yeast become inactive and if it's too high the enzymes and the yeast um, denature. So it has to be between temp two temperatures. Uh, we need atmospheric pressure although that's assumed if you don't write it. Um, but you also need an absence of oxygen. And the reason we don't want any oxygen in the system is that if, there oxygen, if oxygen is in there, then um, ethanoic acid is produced rather than ethanol because the oxygen uh, reacts with the ethanol to produce ethanoic acid. If we compare that um, production of, eth of ethanol to the production of ethanol via hydration of ethene, um, so hydration of ethene is where we get C2H4 ethene and we add water to it. Um, it's, a, it's an addition reaction, so hydration is where we, uh, is the addition of water. Um, and we make ethanol. Uh, the conditions for this are much more extreme, if you like. We have a phosphoric, or well, concentrated phosphoric acid catalyst. We have a high temperature around 350-450 degrees and we have a pressure of 50 atmospheres which is very high indeed and so you can see straight away what the um, economic disadvantages of the hydration of ethene are. So we now think about the advantages and disadvantages of each method. I'm just going to delete what I've written here. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm just going to compare each method and um, perhaps, well, perhaps write the advantages and disadvantages in green and red. Um, so we've got fermentation as one process and we've got hydration of ethene as another. So first thing is about is rate of reaction. So fermentation is a slow process. Whereas hydration of ethene is a rapid process, so it's very fast. Um, if you think about the quality of the product, fermentation produces an impure ethanol, which um, requires further processing. So we need to get the ethanol out by fracture distillation. And um, hydration of ethene produces pure ethanol, or at least as pure as you as it can be. Um, fermentation produces a very low yield because the uh, yeast is killed when you get about fifteen to twenty percent ethanol, whereas hydration of ethene will produce a very high yield. However, the saving graces for fermentation are that it has a low energy demand, so it's 37 degrees Celsius in atmospheric pressure, almost no energy cost, if you like, so low energy demand, and it uses renewable resources. So glucose can be um, refined from sugarcane, which can be grown, so technically it's a renewable resource, whereas 
Um, hydration of ethene has a high energy demand. You need a really high pressure and a high temperature. And there are other considerations regarding that, so there's the safety of having that high pressure, which is compromised. And then renewable re it, hydration of ethene uses ethene, which is um, obtained via crude oil. So this is a non-renewable or uh, non-sustainable process, so non-renewable resources used. So I've included these two definitions in uh, this video because they're, they're very specific um, in terms of what they'll give you marks for. And so we'll just start with biofuel. So a biofuel is a fuel um, made from a plant. So they'll give you a mark for that. So this word plant is needed. The word from is needed as well. So a, ma a fuel made from a plant. And then carbon neutral, they are very specific in terms of what they want. So carbon neutral is where there is no net or overall, doesn't matter which word you use there, um, emission of carbon to the atmosphere. And mentioning the atmosphere is imperative in getting the mark here. The two key points here is this bit and this bit in terms of getting the mark for that definition. So let's just finish off with a couple of past paper questions. Um, so glucose produced during photosynthesis in green plants is a renewable source from which ethanol can be made. Ethanol is a liquid fuel used as a substitute for petrol. The process involved can be summarised below. State three essential conditions for the fermentation of aqueous glucose in process two. So that is just yeast... Um, 37 degrees Celsius and absence of air or oxygen to be more specific absence of oxygen and then write an equation for reaction that takes place during this fermentation so that's just your C6H12O6 goes to make 2C2H5OH plus 2CO2 um, so the this is the second part of this question. There's the processes from the previous slide. So it has been claimed that there is no net carbon emission to the atmosphere when ethanol is made by process 2 as used as a fuel. State the term that is used to describe fuels of this type and then use the equations for processes 1, 2, and 3 to show why it can be claimed that there is no net emission of carbon contained in greenhouse gases. So the term that is used to describe fuels that have no net emission of carbon to the atmosphere, we have already said, is carbon neutral they're much more likely to ask you to define carbon neutral than to uh, remember what the term is. And then use the equations presses 1, 2, and 3 to show why it can be claimed that it can be carbon neutral. So what you've got to show is that the carbon dioxide used in process 1 ha is the same amount of carbon dioxide that is given out during fermentation and during the complete combustion of the ethanol. So you've got 6 co 2 plus 6H2O goes to make C6H12O6 plus 6O2. And then you've got C6H12O6 going to make C2H5OH, that should be a 5, sorry, uh, plus CO2. And there's two of each made there. So there's two of your carbon dioxide. And then, because there are two ethanols made during... Um, fermentation, you need to have two ethanols being burnt during the complete combustion. So you've got 2CH3CH2OH plus 6O2 goes to make 4CO2 plus 6H2O. And you can see there that there are, and you just need to say, 6 moles of CO2 taken in. Um, during photosynthesis and 6 moles of CO2 given out during fermentation and combustion. 
and that get you all the marks.